Good morning. We are at Mountain Harbor Bed and Breakfast. Um, they were too full last night, so Cheryl and Sherry hooked us up staying at a bed and breakfast. And Susie had a wonderful breakfast for us this morning and dropped us off for our shuttle. Shuttle doesn't leave till 9. We we're checking in for the next two nights to stay here. And our room's not ready, so we were just trying to get instruction. They have the best breakfast on the AT. And so tomorrow I will do some videoing of that. Look at this mom du duck nesting. Isn't that sweet? These mallards keep flying up the creek and then swimming down. It's funny as heck. We've seen this area, this um, hostel, on many videos, and so we're excited to be here. And um, the food truck's only at night. Breakfast is here in the morning. We're getting shuttled up to do Carver's Gap today to hike back to this place. So 15.2 miles, I think, something like that. Slack pack. So we have put our bags down here and we'll put them inside once we get done. That's the actual bed and breakfast where breakfast is at. I'll be happy to bring you along and keep you posted on what we're doing. We're just told that this is our shuttle ride to the top of Carver's Gap, the Mountain Harbor Bed and Breakfast Limo. Hi, what are you doing? As the wind steady sings, you can hear the crew call on To all our enemies, to see you in hell We're gonna walk them off the plane to the wishing well Now the deer that goes like a weather vicious Won't be praying for you Chris is cold, she's gonna stop and put her stuff on Yeah Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 14.8 today. 14.8? Plus a point two back to the hostel. Of those woods to see the mount we climbed yesterday up to Cloudland. You can see down there to the left is the parking lot. And these would be the mountains towards Asheville and the Blue Ridge Parkway. The sun's just coming out. I'm wearing my rain jacket just because it was so cold. Look at that. It's amazing. This is the first of four climbs we have today and probably the least steep so lined up right there is lined up so we are looking at that one mountain that was above the clouds and we figured out that it is mount mitchell yeah right there yeah how cool is that it was above the clouds. I was telling her it had to be a 6,000 footer and this is a 6,000 footer. I think there's several here, but we will have gone over Clingman's and this, and we don't go over Mount Mitchell, but that's the highest point in North Carolina. Cool. We cloud, 
climb it yesterday in the rain, Cloudlin. And there's Mount Mitchell above the clouds. So we're just getting up to the top of our first climb. And we do have a 360 view. But hmm. so pretty, isn't it? What a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous day. just asked me if I thought that river coming down the other side of that hump was our trail. You can actually see the trail. It is. That's our trail. Which means that we will be in mud. You can actually see it over the next two balds because it's glistening with the water. Yeah, that all is the trail. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Jane bald. This for sure would have been a river yesterday. River with no views. I can't imagine doing this in the rain. Not there yet, but it's called pull over and get the views if you can. Right? So yesterday we climbed those peaks over there. I'm going to put some words above the view. We climbed Roan. We climbed Jane. We're on Grassy Ridge right now. And there is Little Hump and Big Hump, our last two humps of the day. We've got to go down now on the AT with a steep descent just to climb all the way back up those balls over there. Yeah, it rained pretty good overnight, like Chris just said, and this is what we're trying to get through. 
without slipping and sliding and falling or being covered in mud. I think you're going to be covered in mud no matter what. Yeah, we're going to get covered in mud no matter what, slinging it. This is on the downhill from where the AT cuts off from the grassy bald or grassy ridge bald. Quite the descent. This is the most mud we've seen today though. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> Are you laughing at me falling? <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at the <laughs> remember if you skid marks from your hands. You totally did a slide in a hole. Chris good. turns around and goes, Are you okay? You're safe. <laughs> so I just tripped my toe over this. And slid. <laughs> and I laid there and I was like, this is kind of. Nice. I think I'll just rest. I'm a little dirty. Kind of like a Superman launch, is what it was. Shoo. Oh, this feels good. I think I'll just lay here for a minute. <laughs> Look at your arms, your elbows. <laughs> All right. So we're just still laughing about me falling. And we walk up and notice that we're at the Stan Murray shelter before the little hump climb so there's some hikers down here having their lunch I'll try not to bother them but when they see what a mess I am with the dry mud all over me they might actually need some comedy relief <clears throat> I know. Oh, God. Yeah. We're up there. Oh, boy. And then we have to keep going. Up. Up, up, up. So that has been shut down due to a structural issue. Still climbing. Yep. Still climbing. Oh, it's so hard to breathe. Hmm. I think we've made it to the top after many fault summits and I think we're at the entrance into Little Hump. Shut up. <laughs> Point 0.5 to the summit, which just means that's it. We just haven't got to the top of it. Point 0.5 to the top of that thing. That's Little Hump. <sighs> so point five I see that person sitting up on top of there that looks like the Boone area I'll look that up
summit of Little Hump and it's a climb, I'll tell you that. So a while back I was looking for a screensaver for my computer and this is it. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I found a picture on the internet of a sunrise early morning of Little Hump and Big Hump. It was taken about at this angle and it absolutely had the best view. So I've seen this a lot on my computer, but never been here, so it's really cool to be here. There's Talon. We rode in the limousine up here with him. So, I think we're going to take a break. I need to, at least. Isn't this beautiful? That's our next climb. But of course, we're going to take us down to the bottom to do it again. So Talon here just gave me the best news ever. That's 2.1 miles away. You can't My even bad. see the people. They look like rocks. My bad. You can't even see the people that are climbing that. It's so far away. That's our... Not good. Piles right now. Oh yeah, I see those guys. Wow. It's just tiny. We have Fault Summit. Yeah. Hey, wonder if that's Watuga Lake down there, where we're gonna be, huh? Yeah, that's Watuga Lake right there. We'll be there in a couple days. We have climbed. I'll have to put the marks. One, two. Three, four, five of those mountains, and yesterday we did two of those. Crazy.
I did think I was gonna make it. Oh my god. Yes. That's nice. Let your feet get a rest. Yeah. We're just walking along and talking and these roots are pretty bad and I look over to my right foot and it is completely straight down no chance for redemption if you slip and fall that direction so we're walking the ridge wow, in the descent yeah we have less than five miles probably at this point these rocks with 3.7 left to go for the day. Chris is wanting water. But she's got another 1.2 I think to get it out of the spring. I don't think we're completely out of the rock scramble, but we are on our way down. Look at the Christmas tree farm. I love those. See the sign. The smell of sweet grass is amazing. And this is a beautiful day. And we are coming up on a milestone here. And Doll Flats is where we're at. Our friend Talon is over there setting up his tent for the night. As we get ready to leave North Carolina behind. Look how straight that wall is. It looks like poured concrete. <laughs> Look like somebody chiseled it out or poured a concrete wall. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> yeah. This a zip line down there. Oh, this is scary. I should 
probably shouldn't do it with a phone in my hand. Uh, that was proof that I shouldn't because I just fell on my bottom. Careful. How cool is this? Okay, where were I walking? And I just fell and tore up my knee. Because this edge was soft and I don't know if there's a good excuse. Let's just say that I hurt myself. I can't wait to get a shower and crawl in bed where it's safe. I need a padded room. Let's cross because we're at a blind corner with no shoulder. Okay. I don't hear cars. Ready? Go. One of the tree houses you can rent. There's tent sites. You don't want to pay for a bunk, but you want a tent to eat the breakfast and have an option for dinner and resupply. With some super glue. <laughs> Excellent. Alright. We'll find our room to get shower.
We're in Mountain Harbor Hostel. And our room is the AT room. This is where Chris will be. This is where I will be. And I'm going to go upstairs and go to the bathroom. So I thought I might as well take you up with me to show you. We have resident kitties. Hi, kitty. They live here full time in the bunkhouse. There's two. There's the other one. I don't remember their names, I've been told. That's one of the rooms. Here's one of the bathrooms. Here's the bunk room where hikers will just stay washing your hands. All the here's the other bathroom. And then there's a loft with rooms that beds up there. And then there's this bed in here. And then there's this nice step where they can come and go to the laundry area. So maybe a different kind of tour later. So I'm going to do a really quick wrap up. Um, we got back and saw Beetlejuice and Digis and Wrong Way and his brother. And um, we had some a special guest come and see Chris. So we went ahead and went to dinner and together and um so we went ahead and got showers when we got back and it's 8 30 and they are playing karaoke and the food truck's busy and hikers are pouring in from the long hike today but i'm going to bed i did sleep well last night so i can't wait to go to bed i'm sleeping in camo sheets so we have our own little private room here at the hostel, and I'm going to say goodnight.